with the ending of the Odyssey Alpha, and there now being less than two weeks until the release of the full version of Odyssey, I thought it was a good time to give my view on what the Alpha looked like from the perspective of a player whose main interest is exploration. The first thing is that while there are many odd omissions in the Odyssey, such as the lack of emotes and not being able to buy a drink at the station bar, Odyssey will add a lot to Elite Dangerous, from the simple things like improved visuals, to new and unexpected types of gameplay, like the Stairway to Heaven on Commander Escorbius' stream on Twitch last Sunday. It also has to be noted that it was an alpha, and some features of Odyssey were not complete or omitted. That being said, there is quite a lot we can get from the alpha about what changes will occur to exploration, and not all of these changes are positive ones. The first thing that has changed is the galaxy map, and while I think it will take some time to get used to, I think in the long term we'll find it a big improvement, with the most obvious improvement being in the search bar, where now when you start typing a system name in, a drop down list of systems appears, which will be a big help when you are dealing with procedurally generated systems. I do have one slight criticism though, and that is that the number of bookmarks you can have is still too low. Moving on to the system map, and my feelings are similar in that it is probably going to be an improvement in the long term that is going to take some time to get used to. I do have two slight concerns however. The first is that now they have hidden away the first discovered, first mapped and first visited tags when I think they should be prominent like they are in the current system map. And the second one is that you can no longer see if a body has geological sites or biological sites in the information panel about a body. You can only see this when you initially scan a planet. This adds a level of annoyance if, after scanning a system, you can't remember which body or bodies had the biological or geological sites you were interested in. One thing I am liking is the new heat map system. This is a big improvement over the old system where you were just told the number of POIs on a body. You can now tell if there are multiple types of POI on a body so you no longer have to visit every single POI if you want to make sure there aren't different types of POI on a body. The reason for the new heat map system is that frontier developments have changed how biological and geological sites are scattered. This does bring some possible points of concern. The first is that it may be more time consuming to find these points of interest as they are no longer marked directly in contacts. This is more likely to be an issue with geological sites which while not fully implemented were to some extent in-game. I came across a Giza POI and these were much more widely scattered than at present and harder to spot. This wide scattering and being hard to spot may make material gathering harder in Odyssey if this is still the case when it launches. Moving on to the new features, I currently have mixed feelings about the interactions with plant life. While I appreciate Frontier getting rid of the stupid Stop the Circle minigame, it appears that at the present time, all we will be able to do with plant life is collect samples. I suspect that the minigame was Frontier's attempt to add depth to sampling. And while I don't mind minigames, they have to be relevant to the activity at hand, such as the current system scan mechanics. I am surprised Frontier haven't included an analysis minigame that takes place on your ship after you've collected the samples. This would also give you something to do on long intra-system trips. Similarly, the new first footfall mechanic is uninspiring. While I appreciate that by its very nature it will be limited, it could be improved by adding a skippable first footfall animation and having a permanent POI placed where a commander first lands. This would also encourage commanders to be picky about where to land, as there will be some players who'd want their sight of first footfall to be impressive to behold. These issues are relatively minor however, when compared to that brought about by the penalties for on foot player death. This is because if you die on foot, you lose all your cartographic data, all your biological samples, and any bonds you've got from making new codex entries. Aside from it not being logical, as all these things should be stored on your ship, it also discourages exploration because going out on foot should in theory be a lot more dangerous than staying in your ship. While I appreciate that there should be some form of penalty for dying on foot, I believe that this penalty should be limited to whatever you've collected or have on you since you last left your ship. All this being said, like I said at the start of the video, I do think that Odyssey will bring a lot to Elite Dangerous. And I do not 
feel like it'll be a PR disaster due to bugs, because from what we saw of the alpha, the game looked fairly stable, and any bugs, while annoying, weren't really game-breaking. From what I saw of the alpha, my main concern is that Odyssey seems to lack depth in some areas, and it also lacks some features that some people will take for granted, such as emotes and the ability to interact with your environment. If Frontier had announced that May the 19th they'd be launching integrated early access for Odyssey, I wouldn't be that surprised. I'd actually be encouraged that they were taking a different tack to the normal beta route. However, as they say they're launching the game entirely, I'm afraid that people will look at what Odyssey does not have, rather than what it does. That being said, it could be that Frontier surprises us, and that when Odyssey launches we are all amazed at the new features it provides, and that they've been keeping hidden. But if it does not, then Frontier could have a bit of a PR disaster on their hands. To conclude this video, I have to go into the real deal breaker in Odyssey. As some players know, it was possible to take advantage of your current permits and visit places you weren't meant to on Odyssey. One of these places was Marco Quent's base. Now, anyone who was around for the beginning of Engineers knows that at that point, Marco Quent was evil because we wanted a ridiculous number of modular terminals, and modular terminals were impossible to find. And what was even worse is that most people didn't actually want to unlock Marco Quent, they actually wanted to unlock Palin to get the Grade 5 dirty drives. Unfortunately, to do this, you had to unlock Marco Quent first. Now because of this, I was hoping for an option to punch Marco Quent in the face, or better yet, shoot him or blow him up. This sadly does not appear to be an option however. Now Frontier Developments, you need to add this or I will be asking for a refund. And I am sure I will not be the only person who wants a refund because of this. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Liberty critical. Shields offline. Eject. Eject. Eject.